Hi, hello and welcome to another episode from China Teacher Brand, where I share with you what it is like to live and work in China. And I say work because today I want to talk a little bit about work. But I want to mention two things today. The first one is about this channel. Uh, the name is I don't know New Movies N U M U V S, and this is a.、Um, An Asian guy who speaks very good English. Apparently, he's an English teacher, from what I can tell. And、uh, the name of the video is "Interviewing Africans in Guangzhou: Is the Media and What Am I Spreading a False Narrative?" Now, in that video, he actually goes to Xiaobei and he talks to he talked to twelve. Um, Africans, and five of them、uh, agreed to talk on camera. One of them is actually blurred; his face is covered.、Uh, some of them, the camera is actually pointing down.、Um, but he he did what I wanted to do, but I decided against doing it. I thought it would be perhaps、um, dangerous in the sense that if this is a new center of、uh, COVID nineteen, I. Don't want to go.、Um, I, I was even going to discuss it with my wife, but I know that she wouldn't approve of me exposing myself to COVID nineteen, exposing or just taking the risk of changing my QR code、uh, color from green to yellow, and all the complications that may come from all this. If you are known to go to、uh, a place where there's、uh, there's infection, so、um, this this guy. Uh, went there, and he talked to the people. He talked to the McDonald's people, and、uh, well, he did his due diligence, and、uh, that's that's what my complaint was about. What Amaya's video,、um, he's not on the ground. He's just taking videos from different sources and trying to paint a narrative. And as I mentioned in my video, those. Those choices of uh, sources、um, were easy to debunk or to to attack, so to speak. So this guy actually goes there and talks to Africans, and some of them say,、uh, most of them say that things are okay now.、Uh, they're not saying that、uh, there were not things that were handled incorrectly. That's not what he's saying, and that's not what the the people that he interviewed said. Uh, but most of them said that things have been sorted out, that things are okay now, and that in the past things were okay, and that now they're back being okay.、Um, so I think it's an important video to put outside. It's a video that I didn't do, but I actually wanted to do. So if you got a minute, go check out this guy's channel. Go go check out that video. So. You can- Sorry, guys. So you get a better picture of of the situation. Yeah. Now,、um, the second thing that I wanted to talk about is、um, how I how I almost quit my my gig today.、Um, I I think I've I've talked about some of the situations that I had in the past with these kids where they're. Very possessive of the iPads, and they're very. It's very difficult to get them to do the things that they have to do that the teachers ask them to do,、uh, because it's their home, it's their iPad, everything is theirs. So don't touch my iPad, don't do this, don't do that.、Um, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to teach. But today, <clears throat> I encountered a situation where、uh, I couldn't, I couldn't accept it.、Um, The kids started. We had to write、uh, like ten answers in forty minutes. He didn't finish the second sentence, two sentences, and I'm dictating him. I'm actually spelling it out for him. He's nine years old, going to third grade, and、uh, he's just playing around with me, right? And he's playing around and playing around and playing around、uh, until a point where I said, like, that's it. I'm not teaching you anymore. I took my things and I left the place.、Um, let's let's give you a little bit more details about what was going on. So、um, he was just toying with me, playing with me,、uh, and at one point he took the pencil and threw it across the the room. And I'm like, "Go pick up your pencil." No, I'm not gonna pick it up. You pick it up. And I'm like, "No, I did not throw the pencil away. 
you go pick up a pencil and you uh, continue doing your homework. You need to finish doing this. No, no, no. So I had to make a video because I always protect myself. I watch my back. So I made a video of him saying, no, I'm not going to pick up the pencil. So I sent it to the mom on WeChat. The father came down, talked to him, and um, I ended up picking up the pencil in the end, which in retrospect, I shouldn't have because I had already said that I wasn't going to do it. But in order to get things moving and, and after the tears and everything, all the crying, um, I picked up the pencil, gave it to him, gave it to him, father left, and we started uh, doing the homework again. At this point, he says to me, I'm gonna get you to quit. And I'm like, okay, you try, see what happens. But just, just the intent and, and uh, the power of those words coming from a nine-year-old kid. So he said, I'm gonna get you to quit. So I'm, I'm uh, dictating to him, right? So these things, blah, blah, blah. And I say, R. These things are. And he writes the letter R. And I said, no, it's A-R-E. But you said R. I wrote R. So that kind of toying, right? Uh, it's already been like 50 minutes of the lesson and we have, uh, sorry, 40 minutes of the lesson and we haven't done anything. And and, and that's, that's my problem. You know what I mean? I push myself to, parents are paying me to deliver homework, to do something with him. And he is not, he, whatever, okay, whatever he's doing is making me look bad. And, and I can't take that. I can't take that. So um, I tell him, okay, R is A-R-E. A, -E. A nine-year-old foreign kid going to an international school should not need me spelling the word R. But anyway, and then um, I said, okay, the next word is important. How do you spell it? I am. And then instead of writing M, he writes letter N. I said, that's not an M, that's an N. You said N, and I like, I said, it's M. So he write another N. I'm like, that's not an M. But you said N. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with you. This is a waste of my time. This is a waste of my skill, my talent, my knowledge, my ability. I'm done. He pushed my buttons to the point where I blew up and... Uh, I said to the parents, I, I took off my things. As I said, I packed up and I left. And the parents said, like, uh, did you leave? Like, yeah, I'm not teaching. I'm not teaching your son anymore. Um, he doesn't do what I ask him to do. And he manipulates me. He plays with me. And uh, it's a waste of my time, a waste of my, my skills and my talent. I'm not teaching him again. Uh, so father says, oh, he will be punished. Uh, and he will apologize to you. I'm like... Okay, can you come uh, back and teach uh, his sister? Yeah. So I said, sure, I'll go back and I'll teach the sister, but I'm not teaching him until he, he changes his behavior, basically. Because that's the thing. When you're teaching children in their own turf, um, they, they feel so powerful. They feel that they can mess with you. Um, should I have been a lot cooler? Yes, I should have been a lot cooler. Am I under an enormous amount of pressure? Yes. Is that a justification for what I did? No. No. What I did was wrong. I was... Just one of those things. Just one of those things where they push you, push you, push you, push you until you, you blow up. Ah. Uh, when I see him, I will apologize to him for that. I will wait for his apology for just messing with me and toying with me. And I will try to make him understand that it's his homework. It's his homework, not mine. That, that he is giving trouble to his parents, not me. That he's making life difficult for himself and his parents, not me. I can find work anywhere else. So um, that's, that's what I want to do next.
Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is uh, school. I mean, I know I've complained a little bit about that, about the YouTube videos and all those, th those things. Well, this teacher that is actually putting together some content, um, she's teaching second grade and she's teaching how to write. Yeah, she's te teaching how to write a letter. Um, she wrote a letter with a major, major spelling mistake. It's not a typo. It's a spelling mistake. She, they're writing a letter to somebody, right? So it's five lines or something like that. And the end of her of her letter is yours truly, and she spells truly T R U E L Y. And I'm like, I don't know of any spelling of truly like that. There's no British or American spelling like that. Truly is T R U L Y, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm like, who? Hold on one second. And and look, I can, I can show it to you. I can go into my let me just park right here and I show it to you. If I go into my uh, Merriam-Webster dictionary, right? And I type T-R-U-E, right? True. And then L-Y. What does it tell me? No match. No match. The word truly with an E does not exist. T-R-U-L-Y. There you go truly so um i i made a video recording of that and i sent it to the parents and i'm like look you need to ask about these teachers i mean second graders um all the thing about that letter is capitalization non-existent uh i don't know it's just it's just concerning concerning that this is an American teacher, a foreigner, um, I don't know, earning how much, and they, they don't take pride in the work they do. Before you sending this video, <clears throat> before you send this video to, I don't know, tens of parents, tens of children, just make sure that you've done it right. Everybody can make mistakes, but just go back and have a look before you send it to the people who are paying you the people who are paying your salary that's that's my concern with that uh so yeah i've been ranting a lot about my my work because well there isn't much to talk about things are going back to normal now here in china so um this is the work that i'm doing um and to finish up this video i would like to <laughs> talk about my car one thing it's so hot these days let me see if i can show you we are at uh, 33 degrees yeah and i'm using a feature in my car that i never ever used it's this um is the cooling seats i've never used this in any car and it's so amazing I've used the heating and the massage before, but this is the first time, well, yesterday was the first time that I used the cooling seats. Uh, they're only at the front of the car, but yeah. And you start feeling this cool wind um, on your back, on your neck, on your, well, lower back, not really your, your ass or anything. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool feature of this car. And not only this car, there are other cars out there, but I just wanted to mention that that's that's been one of the perks of my of my days uh, since I figured it out yesterday. Pretty nice. All right, guys, that's all the time for today. Thank you very much to uh, all of you for watching, all the subscribers. Also, I want to um, thank uh, some some special people, uh, people who have contributed to my channel uh, in supporting my channel. Uh, by buying me a cup of coffee so i want to take the, the the time and the opportunity to to mention them um one of them is jerry jerry um he's a he's a good guy he came to visit me in dongguan he's a great supporter a good friend uh he made a contribution before he was the first person and he's made another contribution again and um uh, i received another contribution from somebody called uh, I don't know if you guys want me to tell say your names here, but anyway, 
you know who you are. So T Z E H O N G, Zi Hong Lim. Thank you very much uh, for um, the contribution. Also, um, uh, uh, da, 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 let me see. Lana, Lana. Uh, she gave me a very big contribution. That's probably 50 cups of coffee. So thank you so very much. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm doing whatever I can to stay afloat. I'm doing these lessons. I'm teaching these children. I'm doing online teaching. And I'm pushing for content to be monetized uh, on YouTube. And uh, it's 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 difficult. The uncertainty is is real. So thank you to all of you guys who have contributed. It's difficult for everybody, so um, I wasn't expecting a contribution the size of Lana's. So thank you so very, very much. Um, I'll continue to make video about what life is like here in China, particularly in my circumstance as a teacher. So yeah, thanks so much. Guys, remember to subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified whenever I have a new video, and uh, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you on another video. Bye for now.